Okay, ready? Wait. Hi, everybody. Thank you very oh, sorry, much. Sorry, wait. It's the uh, okay. loading. Okay, it's all right. So that's how I'm going to go. Do you want me to be comfortable with calling you out? I'll yeah, yeah. Introduce yeah. Now. Okay, wait. <laughs> there, you're now live. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome everybody. My name's Purity. I brought a friend of mine in today. Her name's Elle. Hi. And um, thank you very much for all your beautiful comments. I will try to answer as many questions as what I possibly can over a period of time through Facebook, but please do try and connect with the page on, on Psychic Truth so that I can make a bit more of a direct contact any bookings, look out for offers, etc. I'm um, trying to take a little bit of advantage of our offers that we're out here for. We are good psychic mediums. We have something that's incredibly different and that makes it kind of special. Um, a few weeks ago, I offered some lipstick readings. So what I'm gonna do is hand some over to Elle and then let her allow you to give you some feedback, etc. if that's okay with yourselves. Okay, so I um, was one of the ladies that was doing the um, lipstick reading. Uh, Purity wasn't aware of who was who or anything like that. And I had two other friends. Now, um, obviously, uh, during the live feed, we're watching it and we're like in awe, like, oh my God, like this is so important. She had no idea who was who, um, never met the other two people before. Um, the lady that is called Daisy, um, is probably the one that got blown away more than anyone else. Um, this is the lipstick read, uh, lipstick reading. Um, everything down to the charity uh, which um, she was doing. Um, it was pretty much like ninety seven percent on point with everything. Um, she, the detail that everything you know, just just literally by just the lipstick print blew my whole office away while we were watching this. Um, my manager actually went ahead and had a private reading with uh, Purity. And even now she she's so blown away by just the minute details of things that were said, um, which has brought obviously other people that I work with wanting to have you know a private session. Um, I also, I was Pearl if anyone remembers Pearl. Um, once again, Purity had no idea whose print was who, but even down to my personal um, situation, it was absolutely on point. So this was mine. Um, and I asked about my current relationship and everything was, it, it was it even like, it was so scary for me as well. I was like, oh my God, just, it, it's, it's such a bizarre feeling. Um, just to think, like, just your print of your lip and you're getting all this information from, like, an a, a international psychic medium. Um, my other colleague who didn't ask a question, um, and just by the small, minute details, uh, Purity picked up on her personality and her characteristics, her sort of, like, fears, what she, you know, what she should do with her life. And that was literally not answering her question. So when, you, you know, if someone can just do that, it's, pretty an amazing skill. I've not known many, actually I've not known a medium to do that personally. I've heard of palm readings, foot readings and stuff like that, crystal ball, cards, so forth. But it is a very unique, different um, millennium, I would say, kind of way of actually reading, you know, people. So my experience and their experience completely blown away. Like, I would definitely recommend anyone to do that. We currently have a special offer at Psychic True. So if you buy some minutes, you can be getting some free. Jump in now and take advantage of what we have to offer. Your feedback's absolutely amazing and completely brilliant. I can appreciate that fully. And obviously this is our platform on the directory. So please do try to join our Facebook page or any other social media apps, etc. Any questions that I have to catch up on over the last few weeks, I intend to, but I also want to be fair on myself because I will not delve into somebody else's Facebook apps. For instance, once I had a gentleman call me from Ireland and he said, are you Googling me? 
and obviously with myself, as you can all see, I'm quite raw with how I talk. And I said, right now, I'm looking out of my window. How may I help you? At the end of the session, he obviously extended, which was very kind of him. Um, I actually had that poor gentleman in tears, you know, just delivering a message for him, maybe bringing a little bit of clarity. So it's nice. It's very important to be open minded around psychics. And one thing that I will say, whenever we are on the phone, we are giving you an open channel. If you have not got a connection with a psychic within the first three to five minutes, it's probably a good idea to say thank you very much. I respect you for that. When you do slam the phone down on a psychic, probably because we're not telling you what to hear or you're fed up with us, I've explained this part to Elle, and Elle knows herself as somebody who may access the service, what it's like for somebody to sort of like not make that connection, you put the phone down. At the end of the day, it's quite rude. It's like somebody just slamming into you, at least say, sorry, we're not connecting and leave it as that. Nobody should really scaremonger you within um, psychic and spiritual regions, but some things happen. We all have to follow ourselves with our own kind of um, path and where we're going to and what we're doing. What I've asked Elle to do today is sit in with me and maybe then look at some questions that you guys have that I, I would like to answer. There was one from a lady that really got to me. I'm so sorry that you had to lose my lovely. And um, I understand that you lost a baby and that you'll be trying again. Please do go through the necessary medical procedures. And if you have to, then you look on the holistic side and look for other people to be working along with you. But try and stay within love and light. And I hope that you stay strong. It's really great, the feedback that I've been getting. But it's really important as well, also for everyone to respect the fact that I'm using this platform to market the site where I'm at, Psychic Truth. If you want me, book in. You've got advantage of having extra minutes being given to you. I do have a bit busy schedule. I managed to fit the lady in through her private reading solely, as you all know, she had the decency to do me a lipstick print. And some of the evidence that I had for her was that personal, it was, I was actually touched and moved to tears um, at the end of that, but that was a little bit of a different experience. On the telephone, I work as strong as what I do face to face or even here within the webcam. And I hope that you're all respecting that part on your own sort of like terms to know what's what. But if you do connect with a psychic at any time and you're not connecting on the phone, don't just slam it down on them. Don't be so rude. You're just um, spreading a little bit of negativity in that way. At least say, sorry, we're not connecting and done. Um, be a little bit assertive on, on the way that you're speaking and you're conducting yourself within your questions. Some people are all over the place. And if you're all over the place, you will be attract that all over the place energy um, we can understand when everyone goes hurry 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 my minutes are ticking away but it's important that any psychic makes a kind of connection with you so I do feel um, around myself this month I've met a lot of people that are staying quite trapped trapped in fear scared of losing their job scared of losing their woman scared of losing their man scared of losing relationships scared of losing work Sometimes we put ourselves into particular boxes or attach ourselves to other people's energies. It could be someone else's relationship. It could be managing people in a different way. It could be just life, the way that we live it. Important, learn how to speak to other people or find somebody that you may trust or use a helpline if optional. It doesn't necessarily mean to say that us as psychics don't wanna hear you if you're in a bad spot, but it's also painful to see that some people need a little bit direction. And if that's the case, just look out for a friend. So um, just observe some of the signs. I feel as though a lot of people have started to cut themselves off and focus in maybe on the future, on the holistic side and how interesting that something so real that has been so natural is actually coming out. Um, I'm quite blown with it all. It's nice to see and hear from my clients that their children are picking up crystals and they're speaking differently and their vibrational energy is about peace and love on earth. Not just the fact that uh, a psychic wants to uh, tell you something. These people are quite interesting things. Again, filter it out. You'll know the real from the fake. So somebody's putting up big money to be doing things or to be mentored or to offer services, be a bit weary. You know, everyone's just the same. So, um, 
um, just look out for things, make sure that you've got the right registered healers or they've got a qualification at least, or at least a little bit of insurance. Just start using your head out there. Um, there's new things happening. And obviously I'm sure that we have a whole list of questions. Mm -hmm. So Elle's gonna help me out here. And I believe that it may be coming up somewhere. So yeah. what I'm gonna do is ask her to read them. So there's no cheating, look, there's no bones in front of me. I don't know if you can see, it's just my cards in my hands and I'm sitting on a nice comfy bed with a pair of pink socks on. So there's no cheating with me. I can't work like that. So um, do you wanna go ahead yeah, and ask yeah. question one? I have, uh, Kate, is my son going to be okay in his new work placement? Okay, Kate, yes, I do feel eventually will be, but I feel as though you've got a little bit of nervous energy. Maybe it's because the fact that he could have been a bit wobbly before and also that motherly kind of connection. Sometimes we have to leave people to fall before they can grow and walk. So just give them a little bit, send them a few positive vibes, my lovely. If nothing works out within the first three to four weeks, we'll walk away and thank you very much. Okay. Um... Next one, this one's a bit interesting. Danny Louise, how can I get out of the black soul of night and start a spiritual awakening? Okay, right. Um, anything to do with wherever you're finding yourself. If you find yourself like in a cave and there isn't a light, close your eyes and just look for a little speck of light, whether it's yellow, white, whatever. Start to walk forwards. What's holding you back? Everything should be for your higher self, no matter what we go through in life. We all need the light, the darkness and the light, yin and yang. Bring yourself forward, a little bit of self-love. Simple words, I love myself. Raises your vibrational energy. Light in a small candle, even a tea light helps lift your vibrations. Maybe looking at a crystal that you can feel drawn to. Amethyst is purple, that works with your higher self. Obviously anything to do with ground and we need it, but I would have put a bit of orange around you. I just feel as though you've been pulled left, right and centre and everybody can walk to the light. No one is ever turned away. And if anyone tells you anything different, just turn two fingers up. I'm heading the other way. So that makes, I hope that makes a little bit of sense to you. Need any other help, feel welcome to contact me. Okay, um, next one is Melissa. Hi, do you know when my divorce will be wrapped up and finished? Oh gosh, hi Melissa, my lovely. Obviously, that's a bit of a, a, a law question, but I feel as though um, you're wanting to move things forward because you've had enough of things dragging away. We understand that, but one of you has been a bit ignorant, so maybe look at the points of law or talk to a solicitor and just say, right, enough's enough, let's just get things moving. It's the intention here, if that makes sense to you. I'm so I'm hoping mm, by about the middle of next year, you'll have things sort of like clear well that's the opening i've got i want to go towards like the middle of next year things are sort of sorted out but i do feel as though you need either to nag at your um the legal side or you need to intentionally start pushing things through yourself okay uh next one tracy hi can you feel anyone around me i need some direction please hi tracy my lovely if you want guidance and spirit we'll always say that we've got our own free will, but I'll always say call on your higher self or call on your angels. Yes, I feel a little bit of light coming around you, my lovely, but you also stay stuck. You're trying to get through a new door and you find an excuse. You will get the direction that you have. Try and write that down. So you're putting it out to the universe and it attracts it back, but you will get the help because I'm feeling it here. So I don't know if you've got a spiritual person that's already on your path. If you get too stuck, go to somebody who's got quite unconditional love and open heart and they'll help you through. Okay, next one, uh, Kylie. Um, do you have a mess any messages for me? Thanks. Hi, Kylie. Um, I kind of do, but I feel as though you're rocking backwards and forwards. So I don't know if you're also a little bit into the spiritual side yourself or you're sick and tired of people lying to you, but I'd put that on two ways. So I feel as though you have to start sorting yourself out now, my lovely. It's time to be a little bit more assertive. You're letting the wrong people get away with things and you're taking that out on others. I hope I'm saying this person's name right. Uh, Mary Ann, any messages coming through to, for me? Mary Ann, I don't know if you've got your legs crossed when you sent me that question, but I just feel as though I want to be a bit closed off. So sometimes I feel as though you're closing yourself off. If you're a little bit more open, then you might be able to get a message through. Why not pick up the phone, book in, or offer a text message back or something through the service, so don't mind. But if your legs are crossed at any time like that, I get blocked off from reading you. So there's 
um, a block where I'm not able to see further at this present time. My apologies. Okay, uh, we've got Beck Wesley. Uh, my new job is going, is it going to be all right for me and my family? I've been feeling a little stuck lately, so I'm hoping this change will help. I feel as though, my lovely, you're looking as the, the job will help you, but initially in your mind, you're wanting to take a step forward. I'd say take one step at a time rather than a big leap. Does that make sense to you? So any of the help you may need to help your family pick up will come back about, but you've also got to get a little bit of self-confidence. Does that make sense to you? Put some energy back behind yourself, not just into your job, so that you're bringing that, that, that strength forward and that will open doors for you. Okay, we've got another message from Danny Louise. Does Ben love me and want, want a relationship with me? Danny, I feel as though the guy's stuck at the present time, if that makes sense to you. It's just all over the place. Sometimes people can love people, but not be in a full-time relationship with them. So I feel as though maybe you need to dedicate a little bit of your time a little bit better and calm down. Love's a little bit deeper than just a moment, my lovely. So if you feel like you're going all over the place, slow it down a little. Okay, um, I have a Mel Ann. Hi, what do you see for, for love for me? Hi Mel, um, I feel as though you're in and out. So I don't know if you've still got an ex around you or thinking about the past just a little bit too much, but it's holding you back. I feel as though you've got changes around you. There's a connection with the number 11. So I don't know if it's the 11th of a month or maybe the um, connection with the month of November. Okay. We have Lulu. Um, hi Lulu. Hi, <laughs> hi, I'm new to your live. Do you see my business getting better? please. Hi Lulu, my lovely, you've just hit my heart because that's one of my nicknames so you just want to bring out like, too many secrets. Obviously it's um, financially related but let's just go with abundance and I feel as though there's progress but you've also got to believe in yourself. Does that make sense to you? You do but sometimes we've got to let our babies grow up so I feel as though key to let other people who don't mind administering some of the hard work let them do it but yeah I see great my lovely. How interesting, thank you so much. Good vibes. Um, next person I've got. Uh, oh, Tess, got Tess a lot Lee. of energy from Lindy. Sorry, it's oh, just okay. like oh, <laughs> it's nice as like champagne, love. You'll be celebrating soon, but don't do it too early and don't let the hangers on hang on to what they should be having. Okay. Uh, the next person is uh, Tasby. Um, do you see any future relationship for me? Um, when you've sorted yourself out, I feel as though there's still a little bit of healing to be doing. There's something that's quite rocky. So I don't know if you've been through two rocky relationships or um, let somebody come back twice that could have hurt you. I'm not saying it's intentional on your part, but I feel sometimes you're like a bit of an open book and you feel sorry for the wrong person and it's redrawing that energy. So trying to sort yourself out, you know, it's just like one step at a time or finding the right kind of mentor so that anything to do with pain isn't associated in your head and then it makes you do a thing that's negative it's almost like you'll go okay i accept that part i'm learning from it I'm, i just need someone to talk to not for the assurance and lies just to give you a little bit of growth my love you'll get there just slowly okay next person bet robson any general message please Hi, Beth. Are you all right, my lovely? Um, I feel as though I want to go like that with you, my love. I feel as though it's time to uncross your, your arms. You kind of like know where you're going to, but somebody's been a bit ignorant around you. It's not going to change. Go around them and start to enjoy a bit of your life. I feel as though you need to start getting out, get out of the box, even if it's in a little bit of fresh air and giving yourself some time out. Maybe a new hobby, a bit creative, either writing yourself or reading a book or just listening to something, just uplift your energy. Um, I don't know if I've made any sense to anybody out there so far, so I'm just going to see if anyone's got a bit of feedback that they can possibly send over so I know if I've made a connection with any of you so far. Be interesting to see. <laughs> Definitely. Can you see my message for me or tool thanks? Margaret, I can just about see it. I haven't got my glasses on enough, but I can see it. Um, Dows the B, okay. Oh, Jackie, okay. Right, okay, I kind of get you, but I feel as though you already have those intentions in you, if that makes sense to you. I'm not being patronising at all. I feel as though you already know where you're going to and you'll do it because I want to give you like this assertiveness. I don't feel like you're captain of your own ship, so you'll make your own progress. Positively, my love, 
in your own way, do give us a call if you need any more help. Um, have we got any feedback there? Um, not, no, I've got more questions coming. Okay. Through. I hope I'm making sense to yeah. you guys. Thanks for the questions. I do really appreciate it. I think you are connecting. I'm sorry, they're just in awe. Like, okay. <sighs> okay, right. I've got, uh, let's see, sorry, there's so many coming through. I'm just trying to. Right, Maureen, did I say Maureen Bates already? Don't know. No, try again. Okay. <laughs> Maureen Bates, sorry, you, I was drawn to you. Am I going to move? Um, Maureen, I want to go one, two, three. I don't know if it's over three months or the course of three years. I just feel as though where you're at at the minute, you've got some stuff to sort out, if that makes sense to you. You're holding your own self back and you, you find excuses. But I feel as though it will be over a progression of three. So I don't know if you want to go three areas out, three months on, or within three years. But I want to put within the three, my lovely, that's when I feel as though the energy feels kind of settled for you. Okay, we've had a bet's got back to us. She said, Thank you, lovely, resonated with me. Thank you so much, my love. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's let's go go uh, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Uh, Shirley Murray, uh, anything for me? I've had a tough week. Oh, Shirley. I just feel as though I want to get you out of bed. I don't know if you want to go, boom, boom, boom. I've really had enough. Get up a little bit. Give yourself one day off, at least six hours. If you feel sorry for yourself, give yourself a list what you still feel sorry for yourself for. And then you know what? The next day is about fresh starting again. Stop finding excuses to hide behind. You need to reprimand somebody or cut off a little bit of that drain because I feel as though you've got somebody around you that's just draining out your energy, my lovely. And it's time to get a bit of balance back. Any kind of friendship should be kind of even. Does that make sense to you? No one can control anybody, but if it's a friendship relationship, I just feel as though it's time to, to be honest and cut things down. Have one day off and then wait back up the next six and then battle, you know. Okay, Jackie's responded back, thank you. Thank you, my love. Okay, um, next person I've got is, uh, I think it's Carly Madge. Hi. Um, I really need some guidance, please. Um, she's, oh, she's also asked, is there any messages? Okay, I feel a little bit of tears and a bit of sadness around you, my love. I don't wanna go like that. Um, and I feel as though there's a connection to somebody that's quite young. So I don't know if you're quite young yourself, but I, I've just got the um, energy of seeing somebody here with quite bright eyes and brown hair. So I feel as though, is there a loss or has there been a loss around you? But that's the kind of like vibration that I'm feeling. And I feel as though you'll be all right in the long run. Um, I feel as though um, nobody's listening and it feels patronizing to you. Do you know what, my lovely, I'm happy to hear you when I can. And as I've suggested, if you guys follow our page here, and if there's any questions I can possibly answer online, I will do. And what I can't, do try and take advantage if you can afford to and step our way and book us in. If I'm not shown online, get hold of somebody, just email the company or give us a call and book us in and we'll try and get something sorted for you. I hope you're right, my lovely. I'm sending you loads of love and light to you. I know you really need it butterflies as well when I give you yeah, she's just responded saying that she feels invisible oh do you know what my lovely you're not invisible to me we'll give you a little bit of color does that make sense to you you're not invisible to me I'll be saying my prayers for you not in a bad way not to control you just giving you that little bit of energy I want to give you like a blue crystal spirit sort of like hand to me a blue crystal with blue you'll be able to speak your truth just voice up where you need to Who's not relevant to you? It doesn't matter. You will find your own path in your own way. I feel as though you're quite a spiritual soul and you're quite empathic and that's what's pulling you back. You're certainly not invisible, right, my love? Okay, Shirley has responded. Um, she goes, wow, that was spot on. Thank you so much. I needed to hear that. Day off coming tomorrow. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. You give me goosebumps. <laughs> okay, um, I have a Camille. Hello, um, can I know how the year will end for me? Camille, we're going towards the end of the year and if we pre-see things and we crap talk about it, you're gonna get nowhere. I feel as though it's time that you started to enjoy a little bit of life. I keep feeling, oops, oh, I've lost my screen there. Sorry, everyone. Oh, wait a second. Get it on. A massive that. Oh dear, I won't be a second, I've lost my screen. I'm just going to get a bit technical for us here. No, don't touch that. 
Oh, I just lost the page. I do apologise about that. Right, I moved and I hit a keyboard that I shouldn't have done. Basically, I've broken my Mac keyboard, so I've just got an alternative there for now. So, peg it. I feel as though sometimes, Camille, you like everything set into order. I can appreciate that, but enjoy a little bit of life first rather than it being a bit stale because you hold yourself back or you're pegging yourself out to dry. I hope that made sense. Okay, next person, Dals Abris. Uh, will the house I want to buy be likely, please? Um, I feel as though you will create the house yourself. So if it's going into somewhere, knocking down a few walls or your creativity will come, but you're looking for too much perfection in the wrong places. So you may need to maybe access an architect or do your kind of design yourself. I want to put a little bit of water around towards that. So I don't know if you want really big glass windows. I'm seeing light. So however that is, I feel as though you'll do something for yourself. Okay, Olive McGrath. Uh, will all, all the stress go away, please? Oh, no, if I get a big pain in my belly, my lovely. Um, I don't know if there's um, arguments around family. If you're worried about something, I feel like talk to somebody, my lovely. Talk, be honest with them on how you're feeling so it's not making you feel so trapped. And don't be so scared. I, I know it's a silly thing to say, but fear holds us back. And I feel as though you've got quite an old soul and a lot of energy around you, but you're, you're, you're carrying someone else's stuff. Okay, Camille's got back to us and said, thank you for your advice. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, Maureen Bates, where do you see me living? Again, Maureen, um, timing is difficult. Yeah, okay, I understand that. But I want to put you right away from where you are. I feel like you're going to do a fresh change. The lady that just asked that question, you've got a fresh kind of change. I feel like you need to sort things out. Put some stuff away from the past. Get rid of it. Do a garrison, donate to charity, whatever. If you're holding on to everything, you can't expect to move forward. So slowly, bit by bit, letting things go, understanding that people change, but get it in your head, ideally where you'd like to go. And I see that you're kind of heading towards that option. And I keep getting an F connection. I don't know where that is. Okay. okay. Carly uh, Madge Town says, thank you. I changed my crystal necklace to a blue last week. So thank you so much. Wow, thank you. Isn't that lovely? How many people have we got out there, I wonder? Oh, that's really nice. That's beautiful. Isn't that amazing? I wonder what you guys feel from sitting there watching someone like me and it's kind of like live. I can't stage things in my life, whether you meet me on the street one day, I could be looking like this one day, whatever. I would rather just be myself. As I work and try and work as naturally as what I can, I try and pick up energy. But right now as I'm talking, I can feel my hands warm up. There's a Reiki master in here. I feel as though this lady's got quite long hair or her pictures demonstrate the length of her hair. So if you're wearing a wig or extensions, I'm not too sure, but I feel as though one start in something up like a new practice. If she's out there, if you let me know in some way, I'd really appreciate that because it's kind of interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you another question there for me? Yeah, I, I, have, start... I have Wendy. Uh, will I meet Hi, someone? Hi, Wendy. Um, when you're ready, my lovely, I feel as though you put yourself on hold a little bit too much, if that makes sense. I know that sometimes it's not easy and gets a bit scary, but I want to put you with like-minded people. So I feel as though I want to give you a bit more groundedness around you. I feel as though you've had somebody coming in and at you life should i be honest with you it reminds me of a little crab like on the beach it comes out the ocean goes up the beach a little bit and goes back in so i don't know if you've had a water sign that comes backwards and forwards but i feel as though you need to change um sort of person that you're looking at that you'll get a different personality that would attract themselves to you if you get your mindset right okay i have uh kyle no she's just saying oh no kylie kylie kelly is there anyone for me please Kylie, yeah, when you decide really what you want to do, I feel as though you feel as though you've got your ideal man here in your head, but it's not there. And sometimes it's not so much changing your, your appearance, it's the personality that needs to come out. And when you're real within yourself, you will attract a better lover, because I just feel as though you've had a few headaches. Sometimes people become, become competition rather than a lover. Okay, we've got 10 minutes left. Uh, do you want to do more questions? Yeah, I can see that Shelley on the bottom. What's that about? Uh, oh, Shelley. Mm -hmm. uh, will I be able to continue my journey 
a session journey, question mark. I'm aware right now that I am, that timing is difficult, sorry. Okay. Right, okay then. Um, yes, but I feel as though some of it has to come from within you. If you need to get rid of stuff negatively, do it, put it to the universe, write it down, ask for a mentor, but you don't have to get overwhelmed with it all. We have to live in the real world as well in our spiritual path, that is part of our learning. But um, just allow yourself a little bit more freer, be a little bit more analytical, the way that you're answering questions or the direction that you seem to be heading in. Okay, Tara's asking, um, do you have any messages, love and light? Okay, Tara, I feel as though, oh gosh. Um, Tara, I feel as though you've got to start focusing. And if I'm not wrong, I feel as though you're allowing other people to put you into a bit of a basket or a box and direct where you're going from or where you're going to. Um, we all have mothers and fathers that we feel we have to answer to our bosses, managers, bounces. But I feel as though you've got to be a bit more grounded. I feel as though everyone seems to cocoon you in some way. I'm not saying that you're spoiled, but I feel as though you're not a small little girl, you're a big woman. And when you start getting that at you, better things start happening for you. Okay. Uh, Meg, uh, will we move? Um, eventually is the word that I want to be getting there. I feel as though you feel kind of stuck. It's either Meg where you either believe in yourself or you don't, or you've asked this question five or six different times to people. And with that, it, it's bouncing. So I want to keep going like that when the time's right, when your mind is right, Meg. Okay, um, we've had Wendy respond. She goes, okay, thank you. I've been single for five years. Oh, bless you. Well, Wendy, it's never in a hurry. You would have closed off some of the past if that makes sense to you, my lovely. But also when you're open to meeting the right person for yourself, without these ones that want to pretend that there's something that they're not, what's the point in opening the door to somebody who's going to be fake? Does that make sense? Ask for realness and you start to get it back, my love. Okay, uh, Jesse, I would love some guidance, please. Anything in the near future. Okay, Jesse, I want to put a little bit more positivity around you. I feel so you're quite a free spirit, but you box yourself in by letting everyone else tell you what to do. Work within your own framework and guidelines. Does that make sense to you? Stop compromising for someone else. That's my guidance view. Again, you're welcome to pick up the phone at any time. I want to put like a little yellow flower around you. So I feel as well. I just want to bring you a little bit of happiness. Okay. Uh, Shelley's got back to us and I said thank you. Thank you very much, Shelley. Uh, this person, I really can't say their name and I don't want to say it. It's Na 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 Lu. Oh gosh, I don't know how you pronounce that. Nadiria. Uh, my life partner, please. Yeah, uh, when would I, I mean my life, life partner? partner? Yeah, I'm so um, sorry. It's okay, I'm really sorry. We're not very good with names, as you can hear. So it's not, not offensive at all. I feel as though with your life partner, um, I feel as though you've got standards. So I'm not saying you're too materialistic or you've got too less. Um, I just want to put somebody who's got a sense of maturity around you or have had a few life experiences. But I want to um, say that he's not there where you are. He seems to be further away. So he could be working away. But I feel as though um, Someone else gets involved. It could be a friend, an aunt, a dating website. That's how you seem to connect with this person. But I want to put a number three around it so it could be connected to the month of March. So I'm um, sorry we couldn't pronounce your name quite correctly. Yeah, sorry. My apologies. I have Jackie. Um, she is, I'm a Reiki master. Uh, she may be the lady that you're Oh, thank to you, Jackie, connect. my lovely. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I feel as though you're going through another stage in your um, like Reiki and to a natural healing and that you've got more to do. So I don't know if you've got a group that you're helping to mentor or you're tuning people into a different way. Go with your vibe. You are now ready. And I want to sort of like pick you up and say thank you, but you've got a lot to do. It's just making sure that you stay balanced as well. And I don't know why I'm being shown this, but I'll give you, I keep seeing bananas. So I don't know if you need a little bit more potassium in your body or is this symbolic to do with energy, but yeah, a little bit more grow. And I do feel as though it's the right opportunity and right time now for you, maybe to take on a few more people that you practice with or to join a different network. So I want to put you out a little bit that people come into you, they will exchange. It's really important. Even if somebody can only afford $5, 
take it because the energy has to exchange. And that's what I want to say to you. Well done and thank you very much. Bless, namaste for that. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a few thank yous and we need to wrap up in a minute. So Meg has oh, nice. said thank you. Sorry about the wrapping up, isn't it? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, Meg has said thank you. I want to move back to the UK. Right. Uh, All right, my lovely. Yay, come back anytime. <laughs> <laughs> we need good people here. <laughs> Jesse has responded with total truth. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and yeah, that, I, I think you need to sort of wrap it up. So thank you very minutes. much, everybody, for tuning in and to watching the videos. Obviously, as I've said already, if you can follow our Facebook link with Psychic Truth. Post some questions on there. We'll try to follow some of you. It will be interesting maybe to put up an offer or two sometimes, but then I need your honesty back. If you could be bothered to stick a fiver or five dollars or whatever you've got in your pot into a bit for charity fundraising, I'll be doing some other things. Maybe I'll do some live feeds. Take big advantage of our prices and packages. We've got some special offers coming. If you don't look out for us, we can't serve you. And do appreciate the fact that I know that it's money that you're spending, but if you go somewhere cheap, you're expecting cheap results. We're not entirely cheap, but we do deliver a good service. And as you can see, we're real people. We're not, um, it's not very easy to tune into anything, but I hope I've helped in some way. Um, uh, what would be quite amazing um, is maybe to do the idea of maybe foot readings next time. So what I'll also do is probably set up something on Facebook myself where I'm able to look at some pictures if I can do. It'd be interesting to do some like foot readings or maybe from your hand or something you know just something a bit different unless you guys want to be sending me in some lipstick things yourselves as i said thank you very much for your time i truly from the heart really do mean it and say thank you i keep feeling a guy's energy that wants to link in i don't know if he's connected to martial arts i'm not too sure if he's moving around thailand you not not the uk maybe like usa something like that it feels like a bit like a kickboxer if you're around it'd be interesting to pick up your five because i feel as though you're quite spiritual but you've held back there could be a k connection that comes in with a country or your initial or your name but um interesting thank you so much everybody and i ho hope i've helped you and um, thank you very much for l for coming in thank and thank you ladies who done your anonymous lipstick readings oh by the way with her with the psychic obviously i must have been the psychic commander as <laughs> i had to watch that my terrible video but um i'm sure psychics can become addictive give yourself a limit and do appreciate the fact that some of us will give you a few minutes for free so we won't charge you for it if we've got the time to listen so just be sensible out there and thank you so much thank and bye, bye. Okay.